While not as devastating as ground wars fought in the earlier half of the 20th century, the Cold War took a heavy toll on a number of different countries around the world and spurred the development of various new technologies. Indeed, as America and the Soviet Union battled for ideological supremacy, the effects of their culture war were far-reaching and altered the course of many industries. It is now a widely known fact that many of the technologies we enjoy on our everyday lives were a result of the so-called space race between these two superpowers. However, while many of the developed technologies saw overt demonstration on the global stage, the culture of fear and paranoia meant that far more of the technologies developed during this time were kept secret. Much early development of network-attached storage appliances actually took place during the height of the Cold War. U.S. President Ronald Reagan created a secret branch of the CIA, called STARNAS, tasked with developing advanced file systems, hard encryption, and file sharing protocols. Many past employees of this initiative went on to found successful software empires in the 1990s, but many of the details are lost to history. The secretive nature of the corporations involved, and the reckless abandon with which the two governments funded these kinds of initiatives begs the question, did development cease after the wall came down? The Freenas project now wishes to make public some of its findings in these matters. Based on recent excavations and discoveries at the site of the now defunct IX Systems Science Laboratories, the open source Freenas project has put together a startling account of the origins of Freenas and its possible connection to covert operations during the Cold War. The following footage was discovered in a locked safe under the foundation of the facility. It is unknown at this time whether the decision to hide it was at the behest of the United States government, or a move motivated by someone at IX Science trying to ease the transition into the public sector. Regardless, it is possible to see certain similarities in the hardware, and a reconstruction of the audio hints that this may have been some kind of training tape. Another startling set of documents and films relates very directly to the construction of the IX Science Freenas miniature device. These materials were complete enough for advanced computer imaging software to reconstruct a reasonable facsimile of the original hardware, using its modern equivalents. The Freenas project is published, along with this video, a declassified version of the construction guide discovered alongside the original 8mm tapes. At this time, the Freenas Truth and Reconciliation Committee would like to welcome community members to a joint venture, now live on freenas.org. Beginning with the declassified version of the original Freenas miniature, we are creating a public compendium of all types of Freenas mini that have ever been built. We welcome Freenas users all over the world to submit specifications, links to hardware, performance metrics, and other relevant data. This has been a message from the Freenas project. We wish you the best of luck, and hope to hear from you soon.